Robert Groden, as you look back at the Warren Commission, what are your thoughts? There are so many. Number one, um, it's consistent that they're talking about was Oswald alone, was Oswald with somebody else, never once considering that Oswald might have not been there at all, might not have done it at all. As it turns out, there's an eyewitness named Geraldine Reed who was on the second floor across from the lunchroom. Oswald, one minute before the shooting, walked in and asked for change of a dollar bill so he could use the Coca-Cola. <laughs> And while Mrs. Reed was counting out the money into his hands, the shots went off. Oswald had a airtight alibi, and he could never have been convicted at trial. When you look at the uh, at the um, at the beginning of the Warren volumes and the report, you would look at the what the charges were, and the charges were to inspect. Oswald and the CIA, Oswald and this, Oswald and that, Oswald and that, back and forth. They never once considered that Oswald might not have been involved at all. They never looked at well, anybody. They started I, with a foregone conclusion, and that's what they went for. Yeah, but Mark Zaid, you know, that seems to me there's a lot of questions you can ask. I've studied this pretty closely. The question of whether Oswald was involved seems pretty overwhelming to me. Um, eyewitness testimony uh, can be questionable. A single eyewitness who says something different than all the rest of the evidence to me is not particularly uh, persuasive, but it doesn't seem, again, this is my opinion, my analysis, that there is any question that Oswald was involved. No, I, I'm with you on that. Look, the Warren Commission, for sure, had its deficiencies. It was reliant, for the most part, on the FBI, which had done its own investigation and, and issued internally about a dozen volumes. I actually own one of the few sets that's probably in private hands of what their investigation was and handed that off. And there was a lot of information, just like Bert Griffin said, that wasn't told to them. The commission didn't know about the CIA's attempts to assassinate Castro. Yet Alan Dulles, the former director, was a member and withheld that. In fact, Dulles told the other members that CIA officials who might testify before them would lie to them in order to protect secrets. I remember 30 years ago, uh, Bert Griffin probably doesn't remember this, but he and I spoke together at a conference on the 30th anniversary uh, in Chicago. And I remember a conversation I had with him where we asked, uh, I asked him about, well, what about the fact that Jack Ruby had been a low-level informant for the FBI in 1959, and they didn't tell you that? What would you have done? And, Bert, I remember you saying, you know, it would have led you down different pathways, different questions would have been asked, but probably, as we know now, 60 years later, would have ended up nowhere. It yeah. wouldn't have made any difference to the final conclusions uh, of certain facts that, like that. But it raises lots of questions. And we see this in so many different types of conspiracy theories and the government. The government causes so many of its own problems by covering up information that likely had nothing to do with the event in question, but raises questions for everyone else to attack. Here is, here is Gerald Ford talking about uh, the, whether there's a need to reopen the investigation. This is two years after the Warren Commission. This is after the book comes out criticizing the Warren Commission. This is then G Congressman Gerald Ford, who was a member. A most thorough job was done by the most objective people. We started out with no preconceived decision as to the individual or the uh, circumstances. And uh, therefore, uh, Unless there is new evidence, I don't see any need or necessity for a, a reopening of a tragic event in American history. And yet, some will say there was new evidence. Everyone's going to stick around. Still ahead, people often forget that Congress, Congress evaluated this question many years later in 1976. The House Select Committee on Assassinations agreed with many of the Warren Commission findings, but determined that they got it wrong in finding that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Why is the House Select Committee report on the JFK assassination so widely overlooked? Come on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.